this is a slightly more complicated problem than the one we just solved solving for mass and the, the only thing that makes this more complicated is that we have two objects we have the pilot and the helicopter and we have to kind of tease out the mass of the pilot from what we're given but you start this problem just like you would start any other one you write down everything that you're given you're just very specific about what you're given so we'll start with the G's we'll start with what we're given first thing we see is the mass of the helicopter so I'm gonna call that mass of H H for helicopter It's 53 kilograms and then this helicopter flew east with a speed of 60 meters per second so the velocity of the helicopter is 60.0 meters per second and the total momentum of the helicopter and pilot was this so when I call it momentum I'm gonna call that T for total momentum and that's 7.20 times 10 to the third kilogram meters per second so what we want to do here is, is we know the total momentum and we know the velocity and obviously if the helicopter is going 60 meters per second so is the pilot so this is actually both velocities and we know the mass of the helicopter so if we know the mass of the helicopter and the velocity of the helicopter we can figure out how much of this total momentum was due to the helicopter so let's do that first so the unknown in the end we're looking for the mass of the pilot and the tool we'll use of course will be thing and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this in a different color now so that you can see the difference between my solution and the things that I know so the mass of the helicopter at 53 kilograms times the speed of the helicopter at 60.0 meters per second gives us a momentum of a helicopter of 3,180 kilogram meters per second. Okay, so this is how much momentum just the helicopter had. This is how much total momentum there was. So what I can do now is I can subtract this from here and get the momentum due to the pilot. Now 7.20 times 10 to the third, that's just a fancy way of saying 7,200, right? I'm gonna move the decimal one, two, three places because of that. So 7,200 kilogram meters per second, which was the total momentum, minus the momentum due to the helicopter's mass, 3,180 kilogram meters per second. And that, when I do that math, tells me that the momentum due to the pilot was 4,020 kilogram meters per second. So now that I know the momentum due to the pilot right here, I can take that along with this velocity and figure out the unknown of the mass. So I'm still using this formula. I'm going to take 4020 kilogram meters per second, which was a momentum due to the pilot, equals unknown mass, velocity of 60. 0 0.0 meters per second. Divide both sides by 60.0 meters per second. That cancels and that leaves me mass equals 4020 divided by 60 comes out to 60 and then if I see my units meters per second cancel out leaving me with kilograms. So the mass of the pilot was 60 kilograms. This was the uh, P of the pilot right here.